Griggs Stadium, 1943. The Detroit Tigers are taking on their division rivals, the Cleveland Indians. It's very hard to ID players if you can't see their numbers, but we know who some of these players are. Here's a home run. You can see a little bit of the scoreboard to the top left of your screen. It's the third inning and the Tigers are now leading 2-1. to one. You might notice the two men standing near home plate wearing suits. Looks like they're holding cameras so they're probably photographers for a local newspaper. You might notice the players are not wearing helmets. At this point it's 5-1 for the Tigers. The base runner is wearing a jacket and that's because he's the pitcher. The DH rule didn't come into effect in the American League for a few more decades at this point. So the pitcher hit and once he got on base he was given a jacket. They did that to keep the pitcher's arm warm. Back then pitchers could be expected to go a complete game. Nine innings. Here's some bonus footage. This is just somebody at the top of a skyscraper in downtown Detroit kind of panning around, checking out the buildings. You can see the Detroit River. You can see the Ambassador Bridge at one point. But I wanted to share those with you because it's a very interesting vantage point. And here's my YouTube channel information. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I have a lot more history related videos coming, some from Detroit, some from Windsor, and some from the Chatham and Ridgetown area. And as always, I love to hear your feedback on these videos. I know somebody out there knows the exact date of this baseball game. And if you have any old film sitting around that you'd like to have converted, it could be the next video. So please drop me a line. Thanks for watching.